Welcome to Outmotorsports. My name is Jake, and this is my 1997 BMW M3 NASA GTS2 race car. I've had this car for almost eight years. This is the last time that I or anyone else will see it as a car. It has been hit several times. It was hit two times this year, and the unibody is just too far gone to save. So this is how this car dies. I had dropped the M3 off at my friend's place. Taylor and Tyler have been in some other videos, both are good friends, and they really showed some unnecessary work ethic here by starting to pull apart the BMW during the week before I could get back over to their house to spin some wrenches myself. The boys got the exterior stripped down pretty quickly. We wanted to save and resell as many parts from this car as we could. After pulling body panels, Taylor removed the driver's seat and harnesses, and Tyler removed the fire suppression system. I had two nozzles pointed at the driver's seat and three more in the engine bay. That whole system was able to be saved and used in a friend's car. With the interior stripped as much as possible for the time being, Taylor pulled the bumpers off of the car. The final wreck that had sent this car to be parted out saw me land in a huge gravel trap and when Taylor removed the front passenger fender and front bumper, most of Summit Point Turn 10's gravel came out of the car and onto his garage floor. Whoops. Taylor then pulled the core support and basic cooling system pieces out to expose the engine. Removing the entire front clip makes engine removal a lot easier later on. He jacked the M3 up as high as possible and started working on unbolting suspension and brake pieces. While a lot of this could have been removed as one huge unit all stuck to the front subframe, it's easier to have some leverage to separate parts with them still bolted to the car. From here, Taylor jumped the fuel pump wiring to pump nearly a full tank of gas out of the car's tank and into some storage jugs. At this point, it was the following Saturday and I showed up in my best clothes to help finish off the part out. Taylor and Tyler had both made some seriously impressive progress and done far more than I hoped they would. Everyone truly needs friends like this, but we still had a lot to do. Tyler and I worked on the front suspension and brakes some more, freeing the hubs from the tie rods, removing the front sway bar, and eventually dropping the front struts. Meanwhile, at the rear of the car, Taylor pulled the entire rear subframe as one unit using a transmission jack to help drop it down slowly. All right, sit rep. Uh, we, and by we, I mean not me at all, mostly Taylor and Tyler, uh, have gotten everything at the rear of the car pulled out. We have the entire subframe sitting on the floor, at this point, all that's left to do is pull a couple things out of the rear subframe, mostly the rear differential and the brakes, because those are going to other people. And then uh, 
we'll get the engine and transmission out of here, and then we'll send the body off to be recycled. Up front, you can see where the driver's fender apron was previously welded and repaired. Thanks, Con. It was also kinked in a few spots from the more recent impacts. Yeah. This strut tower had also been repaired early in my ownership due to rust. Some of the killer damages with these frame extensions. This is the front left rail, and you can see where it's pulling apart from the unibody. The same thing was happening with one of the rails in the At this point, Tyler grabbed the engine hoist, keep in mind we did this mostly with Harbor Freight's finest tools, and got it all hooked up to the BMW S52 inline 6. Fuel injectors were pulled and the entire cowl was removed to provide the easiest access to get this whole drivetrain out of the car. We also removed the alternator and loosened the steering rack. With a few quick checks, we started cranking the engine hoist up a bit. The engine and transmission were removed as one big unit and split apart later on the ground. With everything freed, the engine and transmission were set down on an old tire, and we went back to work removing the final bits of wiring harness, ABS pump, ABS computer, random relays and fuses, and so on. And with that, we're done. The car is totally empty, missing all of the drivetrain, whatever little bits of the interior had left, the whole suspension, the subframes, the differential, the steering rack, it's all gone. And so one of our fellow Out Motorsports members and friends will be heading over here with a rollback. He uh, helps run a tow company, so he will be helping recycle this chassis. And everything that we can sell has been sold to let another E36 live another day. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned. We'll show you what's coming next as soon as we have it.